you can unsubscribe first and then subscribe again. Okay, right now it's a Saturday afternoon, and in fact, I'm working on my algebra videos for my algebra students, and I just got a notification from one of my viewers uh, about like 15 minutes ago. So here is the deal. We know that we can rationalize the denominator even when we have a cube root, right? So for example, 1 over cube root of 3. The idea is that as long as we can produce a perfect cube on the bottom, then we can say bye-bye to the cube root, right? And now when we have the cube root of 3, let's just think about this carefully, and I'll put this down on the side. In fact, we know this much better. If we have the cube root of 27, this right here, we can get a nice number 3, because 27 is a perfect cube. And now, we have 3 already, so what can we do? Well, the idea is that we can just multiply the bottom by the cube root of 9, because 3 times 9 is 27. And of course, we do the same thing on the top, multiply by cube root of 9, and as you can see, on the top, we have 1 times this, which is still just cube root of 9, over this times that is cube root of 27, which is just a regular 3. And you see, we are done. We don't have any more radical, we don't have any more irrational numbers on the denominator. So this is it. And now, have we thought about what if we have two terms, and both of them are of cube roots? So let's take a look of this example. Have we ever thought about how to rationalize the denominator you know, for example like this, 1 over the cube root of 2 plus the cube root of 3. And this is interesting because we don't usually see this in a, you know, elementary algebra class or intermediate algebra class, right? We only deal with the square roots. So now, let's think about if it's even possible to do this. And the answer to that is, of course, yes. And we do have to think about how we can make this happen, though, so that we don't have any more cube roots we don't have any more irrational numbers on the denominator. Well, the strategy is, if I can do this to a third power plus that to a third power, that'll be done, right? And let's just take a look at what we know, and let me just put this down on the side. Ideally speaking, I want to have a to the third power plus b to the third power, right? And look at this. This is the sum of two cubes. And in fact, we can factor this, right? Uh, I mean, isn't it? So. Let me just do this for you guys. This right here, we know it's going to be a plus b, and we multiply it by a squared minus a b plus b squared, okay? And I have this term right here already. I will take this as the a, and this as my b. And now I just have to multiply by this part, right? On the bottom and on the top. So when I do that, I can produce a to the third power plus b to the third power, and then seriously, I can say bye-bye to the cube root. That would be so wonderful. And now let's make that happen. So right here, let me just write this down for you guys. So this is my a, this is my b, okay? So what we have to do is, I will have to do a squared, so it seems like we will have the cube root of 2, and then we square that, and then we minus a times b, right? So I will just write this down for you guys. This is going to be the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 3. And lastly, we are going to add b squared. So it's going to be this right here and to the second power. So we will have the cube root of 3 squared like that. And of course, we just you know, produce the same thing on the top. So here is the cube root of 2 squared minus the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 3. And then we add the cube root of 3 to the second power, okay? And now, on the top, we can just do some quick calculation. For example, the cube root of 2 squared, you can just square the 2, right? So we can write that down as the cube root of 4. And then this times that, because they have the same radical, I can just write down minus the cube root of 6. And this right here, we square the 3 pretty much, so we can say we add the cube root of 9. And we cannot combine anything on top, we'll just leave it as how it is. And here is the best part on the denominator. When you do this times that, all we get is, not a blue pen actually, I will just use the red pen. We'll just get a to the third power plus b to the third power, so we get this right here, which is the cube root of 2, and then we write that as the third power, right? And then we add it with the b to the third power, which is the cube root of 3 to the third power. So this, that cancel, this, that cancel, we just have 2 plus 3 on the denominator, then the, we just have a nice number, 5. So with this, say bye-bye to the cube roots, okay? 
So the idea is that you use this. And uh, just to use the same analogy, right? Same turn, that kind of thing. This is just like the conjugate, right? That's like the analog for the square root situation. This is the conjugate of that if you want to produce uh, perfect cubes. So that's it right here. And before you guys go, let's take us another channel I'm working on right now. It's just on algebra topics, so such as graphing equation of a line, y is equal to mx plus b, how to do factorings, and things like that. And I strongly believe that algebra is important for calculus, of course, right? So be sure that if you guys know any students who are studying intermediate algebra or beginning algebra, you can recommend my other channel for them, okay? And of course, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to this video. And if you guys have subscribed already, and if you still want to subscribe, you can unsubscribe first and then subscribe again. <laughs> anyway, that's it.